Hello. Hello, hello. Good afternoon. Right. Oh, it's, good evening, actually. It's, it's uh, actually half past five. But, well, uh, yeah, good afternoon. Ian likes to give time um, checks. Time checks. Um, so Day 14, <laughs> show 61. Ooh. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, this was our second show of the day. Uh, and it was my choice, and it is In the Name of the Sun, which is Green Shoot Productions, and it's drama. Uh, so Ian might have a little bit more, but I'll yeah. read what I have. Okay. Um, a powerful story chronicling the extraordinary life of the Guildford Four's Jerry Conlon following his release from prison. What happened after 14 years of wrongful imprisonment is the stuff of legend. Um, yeah, I've got a bit more, right. Um, Michael Jenny receives over a million pounds, became a core celebrity at the Oscars, uh, hanging out with Johnny Depp, Shane McGowan and Daniel Dale Lewis. <laughs> Fueled by his addiction to crack cocaine, his life was spiralling out of control. This is the story of Conlon's resilience to beat his demons while becoming a human rights campaigner against miscarriages of justice. And it's simply the stuff of legend. Yeah. Well, this was a solo show. Um, and wow, it was quite a tour de force. It's quite phonetic as well. Well, yeah, I was sort of moving on to that. I haven't got that far yet. Um, it was a tour okay. de force of a performance. Um, but as Ian said, I mean, I was quite sort of surprised at how the first part of, of his life sort of it was dealt with very quickly and as Ian said it was quite frenetic at times but then it was the post release that you get this period of absolutely sort of frenetic activity and as the explanation there is you know he got into drugs um, and he just lived this wild lifestyle um, and he was, you know, his head was sort of turned all the time. And especially over this film, because that, that featured quite a big chunk, didn't it? It was in the, in, it's in the name of the father, wasn't it? Yeah. The, 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 we saw it, I've never seen it at the time. Yeah. yeah. Um, um, and that's Daniel Day-Lewis. But apparently he was first approached by uh, Gabriel Byrne. Mm. And then the, that was the first project, which obviously didn't happen, but the project with Daniel Day-Lewis and Jim Sheridan, who was, he did this incredible caricature, caricature yeah. of an impersonation, yeah. which there were three or four people on at the front who just absolutely roared with laughter every time. It was not very, it was not very complimentary. It was, was it? not complimentary. No. Actually, it wasn't that complimentary about Daniel Day-Lewis, no, his caricature no, of him no, either. It wasn't. It, so the bits of it were funny, um, Yeah. Uh, but this particular group just thought that, you know, every time Jim Sheridan appeared, it was hilarious. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then, because it didn't do very well at the Oscars, he went on a bit of a, a rant and a bender, didn't he, because of that? Yeah, he was, um, was, always, he was always heading that way, weren't he? It was once he got into cocaine. Yeah, and... um, but then it, as the, as the um, little bits of blurb suggest, he did eventually um, sort of come out of that, and um, he before came you get onto that, yeah. can I just yeah, say yeah, something yeah. about the fact cool. that I mean, I actually thought I said to Jane as we came out, I thought it was too long. It's an hour and twenty-five minutes. The bit I thought was was too long was the bit where he was uh, a crack cocaine addict with his girlfriend, and that 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 whole period. That whole scene of that, brilliantly done as it was, I, I just I kept thinking, I, you know, I, I'm I'm with this. We know exactly what you're doing. You're you're you are rifling through bins because you've got no money left because you've spent it all on drugs. I get all that, but it went on and on and on for me. Yeah, you could have curtailed that bit, and then and there was a beautifully poignant ending which needed to be there it did need to be there yeah um yeah. but but yes maybe that could have been curtailed i have to say while i don't disagree with ian about that i i never sort of was thinking oh 
you know, I want this, sort of, this is too long for me. <coughs> yeah. Um, so. but, but I'm not saying that I don't disagree no, with the fact no. that, yeah, that bit no. was, was quite sort of hammered home. But yeah. I mean, it's an important part of his life. Um, and I understand that. Mm. And the fact is that he lost, um, I mean, it says 14 years here, but in the play it says 15 years. He lost all that time. But, you know, for a crime and didn't. money, because I mean, he got a million pounds. Um, you know, he, he, the, he obviously yeah. received this million pounds, but pretty much most of it, if not all of it, he blew on. Yeah, but, but it was, you know, yeah. it was the time yeah. that he lost. Oh, the 15 years, yeah. 15 years yeah. In, in prison, that's what yeah. I was. Oh, I see, I'm sorry, I missed that. the point, I missed, yeah. I missed well, the studio. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it was, um, it was a good audience. Could be could have been fuller. It's about half full, I think. Really. Oh, I would have said. I, would, it's a I, bit I, full. I mean, we are, we do. It was supposed to be late showers today, and it was absolutely chucking it down this morning. And I wondered if sometimes if that has has had an effect mm. on some of these things. I would have liked to seen it full. I thought it was an absolutely, again, another stellar performance. Really, like Caitlin last night. I mean, the actor. Who, it, I mean, sadly. We, yeah, we again, have, it doesn't say. No, we haven't, got an, can, we haven't got a flyer. Um, um, you did look for one, didn't you? Yeah, I did. No. So we don't know who the actor was. Um, but wow, was he was see. absolutely dripping in sweat he was, by the end. Um, it must, surely it says in that. I would have thought so, wouldn't you? But it's just good. That first bit, written by... Uh, well, it's written by Joey's lifelong friend Richard O'Rourke and Martin Lynch. Lifelong, yeah. Mm. Right. So again, they knew him. Again, it doesn't say, actually. It's they just... obviously knew him very well. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, you know, I don't question that it wasn't an accurate depiction of what happened at all. And, wow, it was, gosh. Yes, it was. I mean, it's, I mean the performance was absolutely breathtaking, really. You know, it really was. Um, mm. Um, and a fascinating story. Yeah, absolutely. You know. I agree. Um, anything else? Mm. We're on to stars? Yeah. How many stars? I think I'm going to go for a four. Four for me too. A good four. Yeah, it's a good yeah, four. Very good yeah. four. Although it's slightly too long, but hey ho, that's, we've made, we've laboured that point. Um, it's on one ten every day for an hour and 25 minutes. Um, it's on right the way through to the 29th. The dates that it's not on are uh, tomorrow, 16th, and the 22nd. The price is 15.50 uh, full price and 14.50 concession. Um, oh, I didn't see where it was today. It's at the Assembly George Square Studios Studio Three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. See you next time. Cheers. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.